In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the most efficient and effective route combinations out of the gun bunch formation. And it's really been that way for several years, uh, but it's one of the keys and foundational principles that makes bunch special. And so I wanna go over that with you in this video. Now the play that we're gonna be taking a look at today is going to be the play Z spot and go out of the gun bunch. We're in the Saints playbook. If you wanna get my entire gun bunch offensive ebook, we have several different versions of that available in our patreon by joining the patreon you get access to all of our man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of our updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks we release while you are a member so if you want to sign up for that the link is going to be down in the description the play we're taking a look at today is z spot and go out of the gun bunch formation and what we want to do with this play is we want to run this with our bunch to the short side and the reason why we run, want to run this uh with our bunch to the short side is because if they run any kind of zone concept, so like let's say for example, they run cover three, all we're gonna do is we're gonna streak the right side receiver and then we are going to drag our left side receiver. It's kind of like a check down read over the middle of the field. What you're gonna notice on this right side is that that streak is gonna clear out that third and you are going to be able to consistently throw that corner route over there to the right side of the screen. Now. If I had my bunch to the wide side of the field, and again, I could just flip my bunch, right? In this example, I could just flip my bunch and my bunch would then be on the short side of the field. But if I run the same exact concept, right, with my bunch to the wide side of the field and I put the streak out here, you're gonna notice because of the zone grid system that Madden is based off, yes, I caught that, but that is a very scary throw, potentially a click on interception. And especially if they run any kind of like cover four where that's an outside quarter zone, you're gonna see that that guy is going to basically match onto the route and he's going to take it away. Again, this is because of the new drift logic and the grid system that Madden, uh, the zones in Madden 23 are based on. If you are on the wide side of the field and you want to run this play, you need to make sure to motion out this player on a streak. And then what's going to happen is you're going to be able to throw that corner out to the sideline. But as you can see, he gets a really good break on ball, specifically to the wide side of the field, and it could be uh, very problematic. Now, why would you want to run this concept with your bunch to the wide side of the field? It's primarily for uh, some type of cover two because what you'll see is against cover two here now that guy is going to run significantly deeper he's got a lot more space uh, to be able to get over the top potentially over the top of any kind of 25 yard zone uh, that's about a 45 yard corner corner i'm sorry about a 35 yard corner route uh, if he runs it to the full space on the field but again the problem is you have to have if you're going to run that you just need to make sure this guy's outside. And again, if they're in any kind of like cover four or cover three coverage, this coverage right here, you're gonna need to freeform this down and outside and really get it to come back. And you basically have converted the corner route in a 10 yard radius from a 25 yard corner route to a 35 yard corner route and vice versa. So generally speaking, unless they are running double Mabel, I would recommend running this with your bunch to the short side of the field, especially in Madden 23. Now. Really quick, another little pro tip for you guys is what if they run match coverage, right? Match coverage is something that EA put into the game a couple years ago, and it's continued to grow in popularity as long as it's been in the game. I've got a full ebook on it in the Patreon that explains how it works and why uh, it's useful. But if you run this concept right here and they run that match coverage, you're gonna notice that this is going to play that really well. As you see right here, that quarter is going to match onto the, the corner route is going to take it away. So it's, it adds a layer of like an ability for your opponent to defend this. Uh, so what do, we, what do we do about that? Well, the best thing that I know how to do is we're going to block a running back anyway. And so instead of putting leaving the running back over on the left side, we're just going to motion him to the right. He's still going to block for us. But now this creates a quads look. And what you're going to notice is the match coverage will no longer match properly. And you're able to throw your corner route uh, to the right side of the screen. Again, I'm in cover four show two. I've audible down into the cover four quarters coverage, right? I'm running this concept. And again, on the backside, you can run that backside drag route. You could also make that a backside slant. You could make that a backside dig. You could make that a backside smart routed dig. 
a lot of variation in terms of what you could do on the backside. I really do like the drag though. Um, but what you'll see here, I'm just gonna ag it before it gets to that KO. And now you see that I've added a whole nother layer of consistency within this because I've turned the match concept off. They can't match the route. And so the only real way, the only real way that they can defend this play is by double flatting if I if I motion this guy over here, so what is a double flat or a, it doesn't necessarily you don't have to double flat the left side, but you have to you have to double flat the bunch side. That means you have to have a cloud flat and a hard flat, or a twenty five yard cloud and a five yard purple. It's also known as double or a Mabel coverage, right? Double flatting, and what you see here is. Um, it plays it pretty decent. Now, again, they're going to have to drop that back to about 25 yards to get it. But by and large, it makes that throw significantly more difficult. And so you're starting to see this. So as we funnel them into a reality for their coverage, which the reality is they have to have two flat zones to defend um, to defend that side of the field, they obviously are going to want to have somebody in the deep middle. Uh, you know, maybe the coverage looks more so like this. And then they can have like a little hook curl down here and the user can still have uh, some freedom if they're in a drop eight or if they're sending four. Um, most people actually are sending at least four this year. Uh, but anyways, you know, they're able to take this away. Now, there is a window that I did want to go over. So if you run it like this right here, you can kind of like and I got to get a highball that but you can kind of cut it off before it gets to that cloud flat over on that left side of the field, but this also opens up a lot of other options uh, for us offensively. Now, again, depending on kind of how they play this out with their user, um, some of this is is really interesting because if they do put this guy in a hard flat and this guy's in a cloud, let's say, and they have a coverage that looks kind of like this um, and their user in the middle of the field, typically they're gonna take a second to recognize like what you're actually running. And so because of that recognition uh, time, they might take a step or two to the right, maybe to try to um, cover that corner out in the seam area of the field or whatever. That's why I like the drag, because the drag just gets across the middle of the field super fast. And that can be a really nice little check down read uh, for you offensively. But by and large, this is gonna force them uh, to have to have a very specific coverage over here, on, um, over here on the right side of the field, right? They're gonna have to have Typically, at least a flat, at least a cloud, potentially even a, a you know, potentially like five people uh, to stop this. And then on the back side of this, right, they've got to have a hard flat for the back route. And then the user's got to be in the middle of the field. Maybe they run a coverage that looks, like I said, like this. This is probably the best coverage they can run. But there are now vulnerabilities to the left side and there's vulnerabilities in the middle of the field. So if we went with a route combination that looks something like this, all of a sudden now, you know, this is got a lot of different options for us. So that's kind of the chess match. You have a power play, you have a play that funnels them into a very specific set of adjustments, and then you call plays that counter your power play. Again, that's what we teach you guys in our eBooks. If you wanna get my entire Gun Bunch offensive eBook, we've got several different versions of it, different playbooks covered uh, with it. You can sign up for the Patreon down in the description. $10 will get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. So thanks for watching the video and head down to the description if you wanna get signed up for the Patreon.